I really like this disclaimer. It's not a desktop PC, just a PC case. You need to buy the computer component separately. <laughs> Package includes one PC computer case, two cooling fans, one bag of screws. Well, I'll take that bag of screws and raise you some computer components and um, a screwdriver. And we'll come back and do this build. Welcome to ModsTech. Uh, I was starting to think that um, all these glass tempered cases were the same until I seen the the Gorilla by Coolman. You can get it in a red, blue, or green. And it's a tempered glass case and it has four glass panels. It's um, ATX, micro ATX, mini ITX fits in there. Uh, fits most ATX power supplies. You can put up to seven uh, PCIe slot expansions in here. Uh, for the front interface, you get one 3.5 millimeter audio jack. You get one USB 3.0 and two USB 2.0 ports. Cooling system is two 200 millimeter cooling fans, and that's the front and the top. And in the back, there is a spot for an 80 millimeter fan. Even though this case has the big cooling fans, you can also add water cooling to it as well. The Coolman Gorilla uh, PC case is not RGB, so you will have to specify when ordering uh, whether you want red, blue, or green. Those are the colors that it comes in. It'd have been nice to see it RGB, but it is what it is. But hey, you didn't come here to hear about specs of a case. Let's put some computer components inside and see how this fares out. See how it looks. Yeah, the Gorilla by Coolman. <laughs> The Coolman Gorilla case will support up to four hard drives. You can get two three and a half and two two and a half inch hard drives. Small little modification here, just adding a heat spreader with RGB lights on it. So this is a piece of uh, thermal tape and it'll dissipate heat too as well, So, but it's mostly for looks. And then I got to thinking, and that's what you do when you're sitting there staring at something for a while, you start to get weird thoughts like, uh, what about this little car stick on I have here? How would he look with some red eyeballs, you know, some hard drive light mod or something like that? <laughs> So I could just brought this guy to life. That's all I had to do was add a, another LED to the existing HDD uh, LED light LED for the hard drive. And uh, yeah, pretty good addition.
This red light tube with the battery pack uh, came from Walmart, and it's actually for your wheels for a bicycle. But um, I might hire, hardwire it in here, uh, you know, after this video. All right, so in the last video, I had a little bit of tragedy. I was making a toolbox, and I was running and benchmarking it and everything, and I decided to update the BIOS, and it bricked. So this is a replacement one, and I updated the BIOS again, and guess what? It didn't brick this time, so we're using it again. And I'm going to see if I can get uh, even better benchmarks out of it. Even the thermals inside the case seem to be doing just fine with the Ryzen 3 2200G. Um, this case is great, easy to build. Only downside I see is it's it's pretty heavy with all the glass, tempered glass on it. Um, I don't know why they put a handle on it, but it looks cool. Uh, you want to get one? I'll leave a link in the description. It's fun gaming without a dedicated GPU, ain't it? That Ryzen 32200G. Anyways, this was a great build. I enjoyed building this in this case, and I do recommend this case. I like it a lot. Like I said, the link will be in the description. This came from Benga.com.